first installment of Maxion. How about it? two of the highest powered offenses in the land? College football presented by Geico as we come here to Buffalo, New York. The Bulls undefeated against unbeaten Kent State here on CBS Sports Network. Well, up until last week, no one in the country had rushed for 300 yards in a game, but Jarrett Patterson of Buffalo changed that at Bowling Green. He has been so fun to watch for three years now. He runs that stretch play that UB likes to run so well, but what really makes him special is right here, his ability to make defenders miss in the hole. They almost never get a clean shot on him. And the two-prong rushing attack, Jarrett Patterson, He's wearing 41 here today, along with number five, Kevin Marks for Buffalo. And this is Patterson trying to turn the corner. He does across midfield. Patterson still going down the sideline. Patterson still on his feet, trying to get free and brought down inside the five-yard line. What a start on the ground for the Bulls. I told you. Ed, I told you, this is what UB does. They run the ball as well as anybody in the country. And it's explosive big plays. Awesome lead block by the other tailback, Kevin Marks. He gets a nice block downfield by number nine, Dominic Johnson, the former basketball player. And Patterson almost took the first carry of the game to the house. And now first and goal from the three. Tight end in motion. Patterson up the gut, and he is in. Touchdown Bulls on their second play from scrimmage. Well, you can't ask for a better start here in Buffalo. Near the goal line, and then how about just a little inside power? Number 41 knows how to hit pay dirt. This is second and two. And the give to Patterson. And he's got the first down yardage near the 30-yard line. Has certainly earned that distinction. First and ten, they were three wide. Patterson breaks free, and he's off. Touchdown, Jarrett Patterson. He's got two in the first four minutes of the game. A 31-yard strike, and Buffalo in the driver's seat, 13-0. Well, Kent State's got some problems, Ed. I'm going to tell you right now, that's just zone to the right. And watch, everybody's zone stepping to the right. That's a huge hole right there. Nobody at the second level there, and that's one of Patterson's easiest touchdowns this season. It's Patterson. He's got the first down and into Kent State territory. But she's doing an outstanding job for those young people in Baltimore. All right, and Zach LeFave shifts over. Patterson to the left side, through the hole, and he's off. Patterson going for his third touchdown today. All in the first quarter. And Buffalo continues its ground attack. But hold on, there's a flag on the play. Let's see if this is coming back. After a 58-yard scamper. Offside. Defense number zero lined up in the neutral zone. That penalty is declined. Result of the play is a touchdown. Wow. Pretty much the same play, Ed, as the first play of the game, where it was just a stretch to the left. And UB, they just keep hammering you with the run game. We'll watch again. Tight end and the lead back. Watch both these guys. They're both going to get the good kick out, find the linebacker. Boom, Patterson cuts it behind. And I'm telling you right now, 49. Wilson in motion. Here's Patterson. Escapes a tackle. Splits a hole. Patterson's off once again. Jared Patterson, how about four touchdowns here in the opening half? And the latest one from 49 yards. It's no joke. This kid's for real. Official timeout for an injured Penn State defender. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen this before. You know, we've got 10 minutes left in the second quarter, timeout and he field. just had his third long touchdown run here. And they're going against a team that's won seven games in a row. They're going against a team that's undefeated, and they just have not had an answer for Jarrett Patterson. They've made the most of it. They haven't given it up. Marks shifts over for Buffalo. This is Patterson on the ground. Another big run across midfield. Patterson just try and bring him down. He squirts inside the 35 of Buffalo from the one. Van Trees to Patterson. He dives. He's in. Touchdown, Jared Patterson, number five in the first half alone. Got 23. Patterson again, shifting. Patterson. 
help comes from the Kent State defense. He still gets past the 30 yard line. West on his tail. Combined yards between the two teams. Patterson with it. Patterson with a hole. Spins to the 10 yard line. Patterson again up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Jared Patterson. And he's matched his own school record. That's number six. And the Bulls lead it here by 10 with 10 and change to go in the third quarter. This is unbelievable. And, and they're not anywhere near done yet. Just a little inside counter scheme pulling Molinich around. It's Patterson, cuts it back. Patterson, he's got the rushing record, and he's across the 10 yard line as the Bulls get another big run from their star junior. Molinich it shifts. Patterson takes the handoff, and he's in! Jared Patterson, how about lucky number seven? It's a new Buffalo record. He breaks another one of his own marks. Incredible stuff from Jared Patterson. Stop me if you've heard this one before. It's stretch zone to the left, everybody moving horizontally. Patterson knows exactly where to cut it up inside. Seven touchdowns over 310 yards, 319 to be exact. And by the way, there's still a lot of time left in this game. 35, a second and nine. That's Patterson once again. Escapes a tackle. And that little extra push gives him a few more uh, yards. Snap it. Patterson again oh on my his goodness. feet. Pass midfield and off to the races. Jared Patterson, how about touchdown number eight? And maybe the toughest one of all for 65 yards. Are you kidding me? I mean, I thought he was going down. Watch, they all, quick to the line of scrimmage, you don't need to see how they're lining up, snap it quick. I thought he was getting tackled at right there. There's two guys. He stays on his feet and another house call for Jarrett Patterson. We're seeing history right now with every single carry that young man gets. Second down and eight. It goes to him. Patterson, the cutback. Patterson still going. Stiff arm, spins. <laughs> he was in bounds that whole time. Well, Van Trees just called an audible. Hope it's not a pass. Come on, Van Trees, get with the program. It's Patterson, avoids his own lineman. Patterson shakes, spins. <laughs> it's so much fun to watch. Maybe if you're not Kent State, incredible. Watch, well, this is a stretch to the left. The center falls down, the right guard falls down. Doesn't matter. Patterson still makes guys, look at how bad he makes some guys look in space. Who else? Patterson feels the hole, moves it and a first down with 2.39 to go. Formation, and that will do it. But in many ways, Ross Tucker, we did see history today. That man had about eight touchdowns. He has tied an FBS record with 409 rushing yards, as well number two all time, Jarrett Patterson, as good as it gets. Congratulations if you had Jared Patterson on your fantasy football team. You win. <laughs> I don't know if people play college fantasy football anymore, but if you did, you win. Unbelievable performance. Joined by the star of today's game, Jared Patterson. It's Ed and Ross in the booth. Jared, hey, you rushed for 409 yards, eight touchdowns. What can you say about just a magical day here this afternoon? Uh, I mean, I got to give credit to the big guys up front, you know. They, they they do a tremendous job opening big holes for me and Kevin, Kevin Marks, you know. So, man, hats off to those guys. You know, uh, this was a team win. You know, offense, defense, we knew that Kent State had a high, high power offense, and we knew it was going to play take all four quarters, and we just played to the last, uh, last whistle. You know, we needed to play until fourth quarter we hit zero. Jarrett, love you giving some love to the big guys. I knew you would do that. You heard the numbers from Ed there. Did you know? Did anybody tell you on the sideline what kind of numbers you were racking up? Could you tell you were 
that close to history? Uh, nobody really told me, you know, not, not until probably the sixth one, you know, and I, I just really wanted to keep running. I knew we needed more touchdowns, you know, to keep us in our league because we know Kent State has a, has a fast-paced offense. They score a lot of points. My mind was, you know, if, if, if they often score, often has to score, you know, and I just took it in my own hands just to, you know, take over this game. All right, so do you know, Jared, I have to ask you this, do you know that if Coach had left you in for that last touchdown run that Kevin got, that you would have broken the FBS records for both yards in a game and touchdowns in the game? Yeah, uh, they, I mean, they told me. They told me about the touchdowns. I didn't know about the yards, but, you know, I, mean, I just was trying to just run, run out the clock, you know, so we can, can you know, go in the locker room and celebrate, you know, with everybody. You know, I'm not really, really too pressed over, over, over you know, the, the records. I know they, they will come, you know, take everybody. I just wanted to win. Jarrett, you guys did win here today, and you exploded. Why did it work here this afternoon against Kent State? Because you knew it was at stake in terms of trying to get to first place. Yeah, uh, really, we trusted the coach's game plan, you know, stuck to our game plan, you know, and just executed. You know, we knew that we had to play all four quarters and just finish. Ross, stoic as expected. Jared Patterson, what a performance. Congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Steady to the end.